In your health, a local hospital is helping Parkinson's patients cope with what can be a devastating disease. KCTV 5's Abigail James explains the new procedure that is changing lives. Well, people with Parkinson's disease suffer from shaking of the hands and face as well as troubles with walking and stepping. But here at St. Luke's Hospital, doctors are working with these patients to help them live a more comfortable life. It's the little things in life that we tend to take for granted. For David Goodman, simply picking up a glass of water or even typing on a computer could be challenging. To try to replicate what she would experience, I guess, it'd be something like this. That was until he had a special procedure. The, uh, the acronym is DVS, Deep Brain Stimulation. According to neurosurgeon Dr. Stephen Griffith, the procedure includes a device that's like a pacemaker for the brain. There are two uh, electrodes that are very small that are implanted inside the brain, one on either side. A battery is then placed on the front part of the chest, much like a pacemaker battery. And it delivers power to those electrodes. And when those electrodes stimulate those deep areas of the brain, then it uh, stops the, the tremor and the rigidity. In the past, a patient was required to be awake for the procedure. Now with recent advances in neuroimaging, the patient can be put to sleep. And that's an easier uh, surgery for the patient to tolerate and it's also a faster procedure. According to Griffith, patients with Parkinson's get worse each year and as they get worse they lose their function. So if patients undergo deep brain sooner in their disease process then they will do better over a longer period of time. It's really magical. It really is to be able to perform things that you, you couldn't do before the operation. Now, St. Luke's is one of a handful of hospitals in the nation to do the asleep deep brain stimulation procedure. Reporting in Kansas City, I'm Abigail James with KCTV5 News.